In Creole Parametric, you can route ribbon cables. To do so, I'm going to start off by using a combined state that makes it easier for me to visualize where I want to start routing my wires and cables. And I'm also going to turn on my coordinate systems and some datum points that are going to facilitate my routing. Let's go into cabling mode. I'll click Applications and then Cabling. Now I am in the cabling environment and I'm going to choose to modify an existing cable harness when that already contains some points for routing. And now to route the wire or cable, first let's take a look at the spool that's used to define it. I'll go to my spools command and that's going to open up the menu manager. I'll choose to edit this first ribbon, excuse me, this first spool over here and here you can see the name we see the minimum bend radius number of conductors variety of different fields of information that we have inside of here if i expand we can see that it has 15 different con conductors by changing the display for radio button from connections to conductors i can see the properties for each individual fiber within that particular spool so that's good let's cancel out of here and close out of here to route the ribbon, we'll go to the Route Cables command. And on the left-hand side, you can choose whether you are routing an individual conductor or you're going to route a cable. And here we have the option for routing a ribbon cable. And populate the field with the number of conductors for the default spool. You could go to the Spools dropdown and within this dialog box, create a brand new spool. Here's where you can change the name, and it wants to know where you want to start and stop. From the Options drop-down menu, you could choose to allow routing from an undesignated coordinate system or allowing different locations for starting and stopping the routing. But in this case, I have a couple of connectors in here that already have a designated coordinate system. So I'll select the Start Location, and it's populated in there. It automatically advances to the two collector. I'm going to zoom out and there is another coordinate system on another connector over here. I will select it and you can see the preview of the ribbon cable that's being generated. And at this point, we'll click the OK button in order to generate it. You can see that right now it ends up passing through the floor of this component. And that's not what I want. So I need to modify the routing. And also you can use the in graphics toolbar to toggle between a center line display and a thick cable display. I'm going to leave it in center line just for routing. Now what we want to do is insert additional locations into the routing of this ribbon cable. So I will select any fiber in the cable, any one of the conductors, and then hold down the right mouse button, and I can choose to insert locations. Let's take a look at the items tab on the dashboard. So here we have our first new location activated, and I'm going to select this datum point to locate it through, and it adjusts the routing. Let's continue on with that, selecting these various different datum points, and it is adjusting to go through the different locations. And select this one over here and final one and that looks a lot better let's hit the check mark and go to thick cable display and i see that I could still use a little bit of adjustment again i see it going right through the floor here so again we can select the a conductor from this particular cable let's choose to edit segment i'm going to go to the items tab and figure out which one it is. Okay, it's not that one that I want to modify. Let's try this one. Yep, I can see the little dot on there indicating it. And rather than it going just through that location, we can change the routing in order to bend around that location, which adjusts it slightly. And here we have the radius of the bend. I'm going to increase that to a value of 2. Now let's hit the check mark. And that looks a lot better. I really, really like that routing couple other different things. Let's again try to edit the routing. Let's click on here. And we can see what putting a fold in the ribbon cable will look like. And again, I'm going to go in here and try to figure out, oh, got lucky. There it is, that particular location in there. Instead of going through, we can try the fold option. 
and you can see the preview to make it a little easier let's just hit the check mark out of here you can see how it bends through there it gives me this other little bend twist at the end because of the fold that i put in there i'm going to leave that in there for now but otherwise the routing looks pretty good and so in that way you can create and route a ribbon cable and insert different locations and then edit the routing of the cable I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.